As soon as I can after a foal is born, I like to get close enough for them to smell me and make some kind of bond. The mares will often let me come close the first time, maybe two or three times, but once they've let me have a look, their demeanour will change and they will put themselves between me and their foal. The relationship with the herd is built on trust. Today, I have introduced a yearling in with the mares and foal, and here I am among the mares, fully accepted whilst the yearling, trouble, is chased away. In a few hours they will let her closer, and it won't be long before the foal and the filly have piled up. These first interactions set the stage for the rest of his life. For the next few months I will sit down on the ground and let him be inquisitive, but I'll leave him to grow up in the herd through the summer without trying to catch him. If they are overhandled at a young age, they can become a bit too cheeky. So for now, we're just going to let him be a foal. It's such a special time of year being around the foals. Delta is a bright, strong and confident young colt and after a few weeks we take him and his mum Pat back up to the fell to run with Lucky and Delta's sire Geronimo and it will be good for him to experience life on the fell. By the end of autumn, the foals are a lot more independent. I like to wean them at six months, leave them with the mother too long, and she'll lose weight going into winter. So Delta comes down off the fell with his mum Pat and spends his first night in a stable. And tomorrow, he'll be weaned. So for the next three or four weeks, we will be giving Delta his basic education, becoming halter broken, good to catch, lead, and tie up, and good with his feet. Usually with the first foal, the mare will call for it, but, but it's not uncommon for an older mare to not even turn her head back as she's led away. She's done her job, and it's time for a well-earned break. The mare is turned far enough away to be out of earshot of the young foal. For the foal, instinct kicks in, and they just want to be back with their mother, so it's good to have them palled up with another foal. This year, I've brought down Trouble, our yearling filly, and despite my better judgement, she's proven to be a good influence, keeping young Delta calm. The first couple of days they will be in while I get Delta used to the idea of a rope halter. He's already quite trusting, and with only a few minutes, I've managed to get a rope on him. So I will be in and out every hour or so to put on and take off the rope halter until it becomes second nature. Little and often, little and often. Remember, everything that happens to him now is a new experience. But they can't stay in forever, so we quickly get into the routine of being turned out in a paddock in the day and brought in every night. This brings a level of routine and means he's going to be handled at least twice a day. Of course we can't just walk up to him in an open space and catch him, so for the first week or so he just follows trouble back into the stable at night. But he's really starting to trust now and is more relaxed. Tying up is always a rite of passage, whatever age a pony. The first time it's tied up, it's probably going to struggle and try and get away, and it's easier to handle a six month old foal than it is a two or three year old. I've been there, I know. It will back up until the lead rope is tight and then lock its legs. 
All it has to do is relax and take a step forward, but it won't do that unless I back away. Give it some space and it will relax. On top of that, Trouble is stood next to him and he's just going to look silly while she's stood there quietly. This is the time for learning to have his feet picked up, so we go slowly, touching his legs and sliding your hand slowly down to his fetlocks. Some don't like being lifted by the fetlock and prefer their foot to be lifted from underneath. Delta is more trusting with his back feet than with his front. Some of you may remember Trouble from last year who was always up on her back feet, so Delta is actually pretty calm and learning quickly. I do this every day, two or three times a day, and he soon knows what to expect. Make sure he's tied up with a quick release knot. Within a few days he, that is he and I, have the confidence to walk up the lanes, hopefully meet a car or two, and explore the world beyond the field gate, and learn day-to-day -day routine of life on the yard. Slowly we start to bond, quietly, patiently, persistently, and always quit when you're ahead. There comes a point, after two, three or four weeks, when I can just walk up to him in a field and put a rope on him. In a few weeks time, Delta will go to pastures new. If I have let him see the world from the top of a fell and can give him the trust and confidence to work with people, I've given him the best start in life I can. Good luck, little Delta. I'm looking forward to following your journey. <laughs>